things we can't seem to get rid of heat and fire danger. A little rain would be nice. I wish I could offer it. I don't have any in the next seven days. Hottest this year, though, today we hit 108. Same temperature we saw back on July 12th and 17th. And guess what? That's the same forecast I have for tomorrow and Friday as well. So we will have a five way tie for hottest day so far in 2023. Also, our 33rd consecutive day of triple digits and counting. Tomorrow, best time to get outside is in the morning, 78 degrees for your low. We might see some patchy clouds by then, but then just nothing but sunshine by afternoon. 108 and fuel for fires yet again. Now tomorrow will not be as windy as today. I'm thinking winds sustain about 10, 15, some gusts up to around 20. It's going to be about five miles per hour lower than today. 108 in Atlanta, 108 in Austin, 105 in LaGrange. You can tack on a few degrees for the feels like temperature because of the higher dew points. 91 outside right now. Heat index still at this hour is 99 degrees. Pick your town in Lano. It's 93. It's 87 in Giddings. 87 sounds kind of nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Meantime, those hot weather alerts are continuing, as are the red flag warnings. And if you want rain, you're going to have to head north, maybe head east. But unfortunately for us, it's another week of dry weather. There are some computer models saying maybe by around the 20th through 24th we could see a change. But until then, I am afraid that what we've watched the last 48 hours or so is just going to continue to be on repeat. Decker Lake Fire, 95% contained 100 acres right there by the Travis County Expo Center. There was a fire that sparked up in Pflugerville. Thankfully, it is 100% contained. Good work there. The Palmer Lane Fire in Cedar Park, 70% contained. And there's one that has actually gotten a little bit bigger. Initially, it was reported at 40 acres. Now it's 150 acres, 25% contained. That's the one out in Caldwell County. So as far as the wind speeds, this is where we're going to see those winds fan. They're right now around 15 with gusts up to 28 through the next 48 hours. I'm thinking we'll see some gusts that will be on the order of around 20 to 25. So not as strong winds typically are strongest between about 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. Lately forecasting six of the next seven days to be more record highs.